So I'd like you to welcome um, Carl Berge here this morning. Carl's um, uh, linked in via, uh, via Zoom call um, from his home in Wisconsin. Uh, as I'm home in Orange, and that's what we're forced to do at the moment. But I just thought it was an ideal opportunity uh, just to share some information and have a conversation with Carl in regards to his company and what they're doing, the great things they're doing with um, our customers here uh, in the market, but also other customers around the world. So um, I've known Carl for about three years, and um, I've always been impressed by his enthusiasm uh, with uh, what he does and how well he does it. So, Carl. Uh, the, the founder of Save Cows. I'll pass it over to you. Well, uh, thanks so much, everybody. Um, well, uh, this is uh, uh, many years in, in the dairy business, working dairy and beef business, working with dairy cows mainly. Grew up on a dairy farm in Switzerland, and I came to the United States for post-secondary education and and uh, eventually challenged myself to get into the hoof care, uh, hoof, prevent, hoof health business here first as a hoof trimmer, but uh, that wasn't enough after a while. I wanted to learn more. I wanted to get better. I wanted to have answers why things are the way they are. And, and although we have various production systems, uh, I, the cow is the same if she is a grazing cow or the anatomy is the same. If she's a grazing cow, a freestyle cow or a dry lock cow or, or even a, a beef animal. It's the environment and the management that we have to uh, understand to make sure we can, we can uh, uh, do what we need to do out there and, and to keep those animals uh, well. And, and that's why our slogan is dedicated to animal well-being, foster, fostering hoof health. So we're in a hoof health business, but when, when we're in the hoof health business, that means uh, it means the dairy faci the facilities. It could be the, the, the yard, the rotary, or the milking, milking bale. It could be the floors that are associated with the yard. It could be the tracks on a grazing dairy as well as the floors in the freestyle area. So all of that comes in. So as I grew more into it and learned more about the whole process, and you can see here on the, uh, on the Safe Cows globe, there is five different rings. And so the first business that we developed was Comfort Hoof Care. So it was basically uh, building equipment and providing a hoof care service to dairy farmers and beef producers here in South Central Wisconsin. And we started that in 1989. And, and over the years then, what we, what we saw is we saw a need for, for products that, that would help me as a technician, but also help the producers out there in case of, Ill, uh, of problems, of lameness issues. And those are some of the products that, that we developed. You can see here uh, a thin block that would be when we have too much wear. This is a block that we can put on in a high wear environment and they will never lose its shape. Uh, wooden blocks, we came up with a couple of different adhesives that are used worldwide. And just this last year, they developed this new single application adhesive, which is actually when a person gets to start using it, it's quite practical, innovative, and, and uh, with a lot less waste. And over here, where with every application, we have a mixing tip, and, and, uh, and then we have a cartridge to throw away, where here, eventually, all the waste will be the pouch. On the bottom, you can see here is, is a concrete groover that, are, that are people are using to, to put the right texture into the floors because for a cow, we want to have a flat surface, and we see a couple of pictures later on, with something that gives her some traction when she walks. And, and, and this is a system we helped develop over the last, I helped develop over the last almost 20 years now, and, and because we, we see what's, what's given us results. And, and uh, that, that's how we started, and we can see later on how we ended up with. And then the, the various hoof trimming shoots for, uh, we have actually four different models. We have a fully hydraulic uh, uh, 
And then we have a, a second hydraulic one that's, that's a little more scaled down, which we can see here, the A series. And then we have manual and electric chutes, which are, are more scaled down, depending on the, on the usage. Uh, somebody that just does lame cows here or there, you know, uh, we have something in every price, price range, probably from, from 10,000 Australian dollars to probably 60,000 Australian dollars, depending how much what the budget is and how much you, uh, gonna, you're going to use it and, and what's, what, what are you going to use it for. So all of that is designed. Uh, after I learned more about trimming, I needed to have a, a way to safely restrain cows but also to have a good working position, ergonomic working position for myself and ergonomic from, because with hoof trimming, there's so much repetitive motion. So it's very important to have that right. We have dealers around the globe, as you can see here uh, in Australia, Leptington Pastoral Company. I started with them in 2005 and they were, they were uh, the dealer distributor for us. Now uh, Eagle Direct has taken over some of that and hopefully even more in the future. So on the, you can see we have almost a, in multiple countries around the world, we have distributors. The next portion of our business is the, is the green portion is the hoof health resource and education. So we do, uh, we teach people how to do it. We also do seminars sometimes uh, uh, for people that want to do it, or we do advanced programs after they learn how to do it. We teach on farms, as we can see here. We have a guy from Taiwan that came and did the training. Here we're, we're teaching somebody from Spain, and a lot of these classes are done. I do a class, I've done a class in Australia for the last 15 years. Almost annually, we do a class over there. Uh, one or two classes. So, so just depending on the needs, uh, the needs will be different for the, a grazing uh, setup or for a veterinarian than what it'll be for somebody that works on a, on a confinement freestyle dairy. And then we have uh, SureStop Consulting. That's basically where we do the seminars, the education. We go out actually here. This was actually uh, New South Wales uh, Derry, New South Wales organized the meeting and I was the, I was the speaker for it and we had a quite a well turnout. I think we had nearly 80 people, 80 producers from all over New South Wales that came out and wanted to learn more about, about hoof health and it was quite, quite a good, uh, quite a good, uh, good thing because anytime we, we give people valuable information, it makes them more aware what's happening on the farm, which helps them prevent some of the problems. More knowledge is power. When we have more knowledge, we can do things about it. When we don't know what's happening, we just throw our hands up and, and we don't have solutions. And my focus is always on solutions. On, 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 I, the more healthy cows there is out there, the better we all are off, okay? And then the next portion of our, uh, 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 safe casting is the manufacturing facility where we built the hoof trimming chutes. We bring, we, we were exclusively making the comfort hoof care hoof trimming chutes and the, the track ride global equipment, which is the grooving equipment that we see. And, and we do, we do other things as they come along. So we are a well set up uh, manufacturing facility with, with uh, very good uh, skilled people in here and, and very efficient people. Good, good quality. So, and then the next one is the track like global, which is the, the grooving machine, which is used more and more. Here you can see we're grooving a, a, a floor on a dairy that's actually, uh, it's an 800 cow dairy, freestyle dairy. And, and uh, we've been in it now for about three years. And, and uh, it's, it, it's something new that we tried, even though, uh, uh, Australian fresh milk holdings was like a little step ahead of us. They have already done it a year ahead of us, the same thing. But this is the first facility we've done in the U.S. and we're quite happy with the results. I mean, moving into the dairy, being in there now for nearly, uh, it'll be three years, uh, quite successful so far from a whole health end of it. Uh, much less problems 
because we started with a better floor from the beginning. And, and uh, cows are actually quite happy in there. They're actually running too much for us because they're so secure and happy. And, and you can see here the different heads. This will be the deep grooving. This would be uh, another texture to put texture into old concrete or, or co already made concrete. But the deep grooves like we see here, we have a special dimension for those, which we found out that uh, maximizes the traction for the cows with uh, minimizing the, the wear of the cloths and, and secure floors. So, so with that, uh, it, it completes the introduction of, of, of the, whole, the whole business. So uh, again, a lot of the floors, more of the floors, more of the cow comfort, all of that goes today into the whole health end of it because uh, just like anywhere around the world, we, we, uh, and, and Eagle Direct deals with cow cooling. Cow cooling is a huge important factor of health mm. because how cows will not lay down. And if they don't lay down, they have more inflammation, which will result in lameness uh, sometime down the road. Mm. So with that, uh, I can just tell you is that we have 12 registered trademarks. We have 20 instructors worldwide. We, we instruct in uh, four, five different languages around the world. So Spanish, English, German, Japanese, and, and uh, uh, Swedish. And, and uh, we're working on some, some like in, in the eastern, blah, eastern part of US, uh, eastern part of Europe. So, so and, then, and then we were in 70 countries. We, are, uh, we have already over 4,500 graduates of the Hoftreming courses. Thousand, we influence thousands of people around the world, farms, uh, technicians and many, millions of cows are trimmed annually from people that we trained and uh, with our equipment around the world. So uh, a lot of the larger farms we work with today in, in the US, in Russia, in China, we're, we're over, uh, Vietnam, Indonesia, we're overseeing their whole felt, we're helping manage the whole felt, we're involved already on the construction side of it to make sure that some of the uh, mistakes that we made years ago are not made. And, and so uh, it's part of what we do because we're dedicated to animal well-being eventually. And, and, and really the bottom line is, is for the consumer will be the animal well-being. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're putting all the focus in. So with that, Mike, you have any, any questions you'd like Brilliant. me to answer? Carl, I think, yeah. One of the things that's great about my job and I love about my job is dealing with passionate people, but not only passion, people that know what they're doing uh, and have a thirst for knowledge, but also to share that knowledge. Um, and I think, um, yeah, what you've gone through there and working with you is a great example of, of why I love my job. So thanks very much for, for joining us. And um, I guess one of the things is, uh, the big, the big shout out is we've got access to um, to Carl and um, and and his training, and also a lot of the equipment that he's working uh, working with and designing himself. Um, so please get in contact with us just in regards to if you want to know any more uh, in regards to what Carl's gone through there today.